Dreck. Oh, not gonna ladder. <laughs> How many of these is it? Six. Six. Might be too tight, eh? Fuck you. Might be a bit too snug. What about you, Ed? I can't see this end. Oh no, unless you mark it under as well, like a proper carpenter. Brian. It's Brian Mark. Okay. Are you going to hold I it? I will hold it. Hang on. I will hold it. I'll be licking screws, but anyway. <laughs> you need to stop that whole window licking thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that was a tough face to get out of. <laughs> he dropped short. it down on purpose. I've not worked on one move where you haven't dropped something. Or multiple things. Yeah. Where's your pot? Oh, pack it to the drain, but. Good morning. Well, that's all the bracing in the very top of the turret. Now we've got to work our way down, taking the scaffolding down piece by piece and adding the braces as we go down. There's really not much more wood to go into this main structure, but what we can see now is the final shape. My God, it's just a huge thing. So while we're having a quick break, we're going to nip down to the bottom of the forest because as always every year we're trying to do a bit of planting so that when the chateau's finished, everything is flourishing rather than then starting the garden. So there'll be a little bit of planting this year. So we're going to go measure down there for all that. think we want it we don't want anything too close to the well obviously yes no. but I do think probably the line would say somewhat like that would be the back corner going from there well to encompass these yeah and to go to the wall, <coughs> bearing in mind, all I'm trying to think ahead is, let's say this is a path and we do some sort of raised walkway. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Wanna be in circle? <laughs> yeah. Up I there. can't though, there's too many trees there. He makes a rubbish tripod in, doesn't he? Now 20 meters. 23. Okay, Davy. Here's your plans. Make a garden out of that. 
So I'm going to send these details to Davey. We've already been talking about the plans. There's a lot of planning still that goes on for other areas, even though we're concentrating on the roof. So we've already got a little plan in place for this and you'll see this come to life probably towards the end of the year. Is a wedge. Right. Two of them. Uh, what else? Another ten years earlier. All the way down there. I thought you were right below me. So this penguin. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Live from the top of Saturday the show, man. <laughs> Brian. Dad jokes. Right, so this penguin walks into a bar and he orders a pint of Guinness and a hand sandwich and he goes and sits in the corner and starts reading the paper. And the barman's just there polishing glasses, looking at the penguin going, it's a talking penguin. So he goes down to the penguin and he says, um, what are you doing in town? And the penguin says, oh, I'm just in here looking for a bit of work. And the barman's like, well, okay. Well, there's a circus down the road. I think they're looking for people. And the penguin says, a circus? And the barman's like, yeah, a circus. He goes, with the lions and the tigers and the ringmaster and the big hat. Yeah, that's the one. In that big tent down on the football field. Yeah, yeah that's it. What will they want with a plasterer? Because <laughs> the penguins are plasterer, you see. And, that, and, then we'll... and fade to black. <laughs> Do all your jokes, are they based around in an Irish pub, someone ordering Guinness and a ham sandwich? Yeah, that's all you order in Irish pub. <laughs> Five, I think. Three more here and you've got two. Three and two are five. Do you know what kind of car tires on drives? I told you this one. You'll appreciate this. A Mazda 323. Because it's Is that only funny in Ireland? Yeah. <laughs> or what do you call a French guy who sells shoes? Philippe Philippe. I like can't, I just can't, the one's enough. <laughs> so now we've just got to start working our way down. That's the top brace. There'll be more braces to go on, but there's a certain amount we can put on while still needing access for the cladding and the tiles. <laughs> On Monday, you might not be able to see from here, but there's loads of little blocks of wood where all the hangmen are going, which we put in pre-pour. 
We're going to extract all of them. As soon as them little blocks are removed, we can then cement and resin the fixings, which are going to take that hangman frame, the little triangle frame, which props up the skirt of the roof. We're going to get all them in next week, hopefully, and we're going to be building the final little flare out of the roof. After that's done, clad and waterproof. Optimistically, I think, let's say in a couple of weeks, that thing should be clad and waterproof and finished for winter. That's exciting, right? Anyway, I'll see you for that Monday. Shh. <laughs>